Good, good, good. How you feel, baby? Chill it. Good. Got that money for me, man? I gotta make moves. Yeah, I got it. I ain't, but not all of it, yo. What you mean? You ain't finished? I got robbed, yo. What the fuck you mean you got robbed, man? Who robbed you? Come on, man. That nigga Duff. Nigga Duff? Let this nigga Duff run up on you, man? And take your shit? Now my peace, man. You ain't had your fucking gun on you, man? What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? That nigga stand out here like three stooges of Harlem or something, B? They're gonna let this nigga come and take your shit? Ain't you a motherfucking man? You gonna let another man take your shit? You done lost your privilege of getting any money, man, until you show me where that man is at. Until you find that man, you dead up here, man. You dead, man. All right, you hear what the fuck I'm saying, man? Now get the fuck off my stoop, man. Go ahead, man, go find that man, B. Go find him, B. Unless you like being broke, nigga. Go this way, man. Hey, my man, go this way, man. Go that way, man. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. And everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, shout out to everybody who watched the Bricks blog earlier this week, the Charlie Clips joint. Getting back in motion, because like I said, we was in OKC, and I'm actually leaving tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? New, new place, new state. You know what I'm saying? Every week. It's damn near, you know what I'm saying, shit is going on. When summertime happens, a lot of motion is going on, a lot of things are happening. Like I said, Easy got the Trenches event coming up. I'm sure they're going to start rolling out announcements soon. Um, I did see all of the draft news yesterday. I didn't really know anybody in the draft, I'm be honest with you, and I watch college sports. I seen, <laughs> I seen Philadelphia's pick. Shout out to Philadelphia. But, uh... I, I, like I said, I don't know who anybody picked. I seen the Brooklyn Nets traded Mikael Bridges. They got six first round draft picks back. How the fuck can I be mad at that? Um, and shout out to everything that's going on. But uh, yeah, I was uh, looking into everything that was happening with the caffeine thing. I heard about caffeine closing its doors, ending business, grand opening, grand closing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and a lot of people are asking, how did it get to this point? What's going on? I have my own thoughts and I'll give them, you know what I'm saying? For whoever cares, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of things to break down every round that I've sketched about when it comes to caffeine, what they did for battle rap, how the culture, whether elevated, stay stagnant or move, you know what I mean? But when I think about the grand scheme of things, you know what I'm saying, this will ultimately be looked at as a failure because the company is closing. Um, and oh yeah, shout out to my daughter, you know what I'm saying, we was in the car the other day, she tried to troll me by pulling out a phone while a beat was on, you know what I'm saying, so I had to... I had to service her with some bars and like. Alright, let me hear him then. Like you uh, played on a B for no reason. You don't got no bars. Alright, man. I got you, man. What I said, uh, I said, let's do it like this. I said, check. Uh, yo, uh, man made the slaughter. I'm hood, I still mix my pancakes with water. Okay. My fan played the corner with Gramps, eights and quarters. Okay. People lied on my name, but they can't change the aura. So. Uh so who would make concern? I could bring him to you now based off the loop that I could earn. Been out the loop, but I return. Who can stop the purge? Got killers on head now. Nah, my people move without a word. Check. My favorite blick is a 44. My dog blue trout. A judge hit him with a 44. It's 20 for the split. I could get him for the 44. And when this thing done, I hit a player with 44. Divine measures. I grew up around side betters that won but couldn't stay in the game. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I blog, but I'm still on the block sturdy. And keep a lookout for the window. Cause the cop is dirty hmm. Battle who I beat them Fucked around and dropped 30 Man I done bust more elbow moves Than Brock Purdy Ooh. Hustle for real My people gunning to kill Since I was young Looking for something to steal Not a six cool black And the other one teal I'm like hoving nine nine Cause I'm dumping the mill And I need more paper Three four acres My favorite five words Is we don't need no favors Favors Okay that's fine and no, I get, I get, I get it in every now and then. Every now and then. All right. Every now and then. Yes, you. A lot of people commented and replied. It's on my Instagram. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a project. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a project called When You Start Rapping Like That, Volume One. I'm thinking about August because I got most of the music done already. SP is on his joint. He'll probably be on like a joint, but I'm mostly. This is mostly gonna be focused on what I do to take battle, not to take rap, not battle rap. I don't want to battle you niggas. But to take rap like serious and put some shit together because mad people have been asking me for the longest and I finally got the time to do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in my marketing class. I just finished my final. I had a 12 page paper last night, but that bit done, you know what I'm saying? So I'll probably be, I'm going to get an A in that class because my grade point is like a 97, you know what I mean? Because like I really, some people go to school to go to school, but when I go to school, like I really focus and try to absorb the information because I'm, I personally don't want to be one of them people that just gets like 75s all the way through. Like, I want to get to the top 
level of whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? That's just my, the way I do things. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all peep the bars, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop playing with me. I really get crazy. Um, caffeine. Caffeine. <laughs> like, uh, shout out to all of the artists, you know what I'm saying, that was on caffeine. They came into the culture around 2020. I did a little research, you know what I'm saying? I definitely did a little research. I looked up a couple um, news articles and things like that from when they first came in. They came in and partnered with Drake, February 11, 2020. Um, they, 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 they partnered with Drake, you know what I'm saying? He had added another endeavor to his business portfolio. He announced via Twitter that he was partnering with Caffeine to bring the Ultimate Rap League to streaming. Being a noted battle fan, Drizzy wants the underground genre to be more accessible and visible for fans, right? Uh, he tweeted, he was excited to announce the major step forward, managed to get URL TV and Caffeine linked up with the objective of making battle rap easier to access in your home or on your mobile device, and it's free to watch the battles once you sign up. You know what I'm saying? The partnership, uh, it says it was a multi-year partnership, and he hasn't um, ruled out having his own channel things like that right so when caffeine was first announced you know what i'm saying there was a partnership with drake you know, a lot of people was looking to see what they brought into the game and how things could elevate and expand and you know what i'm saying a lot of people was excited motherfuckers seeing drake pulling up to an event he taking pictures with people he pointing shots they thinking that this is going to be drake in battle rap helping elevate the culture to the next level but see the thing is when you have niggas, nigga shit goes on. And a lot of nigga shit went on that helped make this relationship a little bit rocky and add some turmoil. First event, the Norb situation happens. You know what I'm saying? You got a, you got billboards. You got, these niggas, these niggas have billboards on the highway. These niggas have billboards on the highway. What happened to that boy? Beautiful. Twerk, Geechee Gotti. Uh, the car was set up, it was supposed to be a big car in Atlanta. Everybody was there. I wasn't there, you know. <laughs> Caffeine don't invite me. <laughs> so I don't got no problem making this one. I don't got no problem making this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking there. They got the rollout. It's supposed to be a big situation. Caffeine, 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 right? Cool. First event goes. There were issues in the first event, the streaming. I don't think they was prepared for the audience that Battle Rap brought in, so the pay-per-view was it, ah, it, ah, it, ah, uh, ah. The bootlegs were great, you know what I'm saying, but the pay-per-view was rocky and shaky. They continued to cultivate, they pivoted and started working on things and then they started making it more, you know, sustainable as far as the bandwidth and things. So they continued to have events, then they had tournaments and things like that, and people who are like real Battle Rap heads who really watch this shit all the time, New caffeine was moving too fast. They were having fucking um, ultimate madness tournaments where niggas was battling every two weeks to the point where they wasn't even having no bars no more. I remember they had one. I don't know if it was the first one, it was the second one. They had like Reaper Rail, Glue Easy, and Steams and all these niggas, and niggas forgot all their bars because you cannot battle every week. Well, some people can, but most can't, right? So they continued to press on. Uh, Norbs files his lawsuit against URL. Caffeine's name is all through, 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 through the shit. Caffeine, 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 caffeine. On this day, caffeine. On this day, caffeine. On this day, that's, it's all throughout the shit. Oh, hell no! It started to be a problem because when URL got that deal, they cut Norbs out the fucking, they kicked him out the whip. Remember that shit? They dropped a statement that said, <laughs> they kicked Norbs out the whip the day the caffeine shit popped off. You know what I'm saying? They kicked Norbs out the whip, and they probably thought Norbs would go quietly, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? He filed a, a lawsuit, a multi-million dollar lawsuit. It ain't no secret. He filed a lawsuit for damn near $30 million. <laughs> <laughs> you, you talk about <laughs> fighting with you, you go and fight with a day, nigga. <laughs> you go and fight. You go and fight with a day, nigga. You are owning them niggas ain't got the money. I know they ain't got, they, they ain't paying niggas like that. The parent company, you're the parent company. You sign these people, they felt like, this person felt like they was involved, they didn't get they cut, boom. So now, everything that you're profiting with your marketing strategy, because you got marketing strategy, you got marketing channels, you got different ways and avenues that you go about putting out a product. So you got a product, 
you got people, you got problems, you got place, you got all these things. And I could literally, I could walk you through my marketing class, but she, you niggas ain't getting this shit for free. So, um, well, actually YouTube pays, right? So, um, let's just keep it going. So in their marketing strategy, they wanted to market battle rap to a commercial audience. You know what I'm saying? They had uh, commercials on FS1. They had billboards in the train stations. They were con social media marketing, a digital app, and events, you know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be all for the viewer's experience. But most people with common sense are like, how is caffeine making money if all of these events are coming on and they're not charging people? And you know what I mean? There's no ads, you know what I'm saying? It's just strictly stream. Now, uh, caffeine realized after a while that this is probably not the most profitable way about going and doing things, you know what I'm saying? So caffeine releases a statement uh, to pretty much, uh, and then, oh, not to, let's go even further. They hired every nigga that wanted a channel. <laughs> they was hiring people who didn't even know what to fucking do with a channel. And they was getting paid too. You know what I'm saying? They, they giving battlers channels and now they're like, let's say, there were some battle rappers who took a YouTube channel, not a YouTube channel, who took a, a caffeine channel and did what they were supposed to do. Mike P, DNA are a couple that I could think of off top. You know what I'm saying? Mike P was streaming games. Mike P got so good at the fucking game and shit, he went and won 100,000 somewhere else. See, Mike, that's the way you brought. That's the way. And I know who you got next, too. You better be him, too. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mike P took it and took that shit to a whole nother level. He was gaming. He went out. Like, that's what I be telling people about brand extensions. A lot of y'all stay stagnant and just wait for somebody to do something for you. Mike P took that opportunity, started streaming games, doing all those other shit. Bam, he's out of here, right? DNA. He was using this platform to do interviews, to fucking promote the culture, yada, yada, yada. He had a dope setup, you know what I mean? Things like that. A lot of battle rappers don't realize that what the way people look, what they see when they first cut the camera on means a lot. Niggas was doing fucking TV shows in their room, on their bed, rolling up weed, feet kicked up. Talk about this is the show. Nigga, this ain't no fucking, this ain't no motherfucking show. <laughs> This ain't no show, man. It was very few. Uh, it was very few caffeine channels that you could watch for more than a minute or two without cutting them shits off. As far as the battle rappers is concerned. Now I know once the battle rap shit wasn't popping like that, and they fired all them niggas. They fired damn near everybody. I think they kept like Emerson Kennedy, and that was it. But Emerson Kennedy was working at a studio in California. I was supposed to go to it, but I didn't get to when I was out there for uh, the full circle shit. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to the uh, battle rap shit when i go to a different state i just i literally allot the amount of time that is supposed to be used for what i'm doing like i'm going to a state i'm gonna fly there get there maybe a night or so before the, the event hit the event get something to eat i'm back at the hotel packing my shit because my flight is out of there i don't you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna be hanging out i don't, I don't got time to hang out i'm an old nigga so anyway um so caffeine fired all of the artists you know what i'm saying and rightfully so because these niggas wasn't putting up no numbers <laughs> Y'all niggas was not putting up no numbers, nobody was watching that shit, and it was what it was. So they cut all of the fat off, got all them niggas out of here, right? Um, and they continued to, they tried to pivot and double back and start doing events with URL that they would start charging for. But the problem is, you came in and introduced it as a free streaming platform, and now you wanna charge. So guess what? A lot of motherfuckers are like, yo, I'm not paying for some shit that I got for free for two, three years. Bootleg gang. Bootlegs is at an all-time high. Caffeine was saying that they was doing all of these crazy numbers, but a lot of people, myself included, knew that they weren't doing those numbers. Because what did they have that was going to bring you to that app if it wasn't an event? Niggas ain't going there to just check for what's going on in the news and the battle. No, that was not happening. I don't give a fuck who was over there. You could, and then they would do shit with the numbers, saying that all these battles and all this shit had all these crazy numbers and they weren't doing them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, Caffeine continued on and tried to do some paid events. They did an event or two. I saw them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't paid for them. I'm like, I, ain't pay. I saw them, but it is what it is. At this point, you charge them, but you didn't want to charge. Now you want to charge. Now, fuck that. They pay. I'm not. Right? So, uh... Norbs files his lawsuit. Norbs eventually wins this Norbs lawsuit. From what I'm hearing, you could take my word for what it's worth or put it in dirt. Hey, who am I? I'm just a nigga with a camera, right? I'm hearing that that caffeine was the one who got that bill. You know what I mean? For whatever Norbs. I heard they the ones that got the bill. I'm sure these niggas probably had to pay something on it, but the parent company is ultimately the ones that were deemed liable because you hiring niggas that did this to him and he got kicked out the whip. And I always thought that shit was weak, you know what I'm saying? But 
you know, a lot of them over there didn't like, <laughs> didn't like Norm. You know what I'm saying? Especially me. <laughs> I gotta, you know, you know, y'all know how I feel about that nigga. Talk about it. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. You don't want me to expose you. Selling that weed, boy. I you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but they do a lot. They did a lot of manipulative shit, a lot of fucking backdoor bullshit. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of people, especially with, with, with Norbs. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want him around no more. They kicked the nigga out the whip. It was what it was. And they don't like you talking about him either. They used to hate when I used to talk my shit. You know, niggas, they used to hate it. But I got to a point where I wound up not giving a fuck. And it is what it is. That's why I talk how I talk. You know what I'm saying? Because in this game, if you're not useful to a person, you become useless. And then they try to get you out the way. It's happened before, but how did that work? <laughs> but so um keep it moving. Um so eventually caffeine, you know what I'm saying, moving fast forward, the niggas dropped a statement and they said, We're at a point where we are still not quite profitable. So we have made the decision to end the service as of June 26th as we figure out our next steps. It has been a wild ride with few accomplishments and it says we built a platform streaming that has grown to 61 million monthly users and 4 million a day. I don't believe that <laughs> because if they was doing 4 million a day, them niggas would still be in business. Do you know how much money? See. These, these are some niggas that, they sound smart to dumb people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, every good, every good scam needs a con man. Somebody that's gonna walk you in, tell you shit, make you believe in what's going on. But listen, they was not doing no four million a day, because if they was, they would still be in business. You better believe it. Four million people watching caffeine a day, I would bet my retirement that that shit didn't happen. Because like I said, they had no way to drive in traffic when events wasn't on, wasn't nobody logging on that shit to see what was going on with, with, with hip hop or back. No, we just wanted to know when the event was. We watched that shit and went on about our way. So they couldn't, re there's no retention there. You know what I'm saying? No events, no retention, no need for URL. What did URL do as far as like help to help? Fuck it up, <laughs> fuck the bag up. Mm, book people like Freeway versus Cassidy. That battle costs a lot of money that never fucking happened. Caffeine ate that bill. That's a, that, and it, that battle will never happen. I'm glad it ain't. Listen, I'm glad. I am glad that battle did not happen. But caffeine, like booking Freeway versus Cassidy, that helps fuck shit up. Drake getting out the whip because Drake went to one fucking event. Drake tweeted like one time about caffeine back in 2020. What, why did that happen? Murder Mook leaked that fucking phone conversation with Drake. Drake said, I can't be around these niggas. <laughs> I cannot be around these niggas. Drake, we can do something. <laughs> Come on. I won't leak your conversation, nigga. I won't leak. Niggas was leaking conversations and all this shit. He ain't, ain't want to fuck with it no more. He, he distanced himself. So once Drake distanced himself from Caffeine, Caffeine gonna distance himself from the motherfuckers who the reason why he here. So you can't be surprised. You cannot be surprised that this is the ultimate result. Remember when Smack said the money ain't coming back? Nigga, the money ain't coming back. You better rob, mob, starve, or get a motherfucking job. And see, the thing is with Battle Rap, and another thing that Caffeine did, Caffeine raised the price of Battle Rappers so much that it'd be hard to reel them back in. You booking niggas for 30,000, 40,000, 25, money that they ain't never made, well, guess what? In turn, when the next league goes to them and wants to book them, guess what? They want more money now. Now they want more money. And their performances went from here. The performances started dwindling down. Niggas is getting paid top money. They going up there choking. They recycling. They stumbling over their bars and shit. And it's like, at a, at a certain time, caffeine had to get out the whip. Long story short, <laughs> YouTube will forever be the... I remember there was niggas who was talking that dumb shit. Oh, this is dude, YouTube. This is Nigga, no. YouTube will forever be the number one app. Niggas in jail get YouTube. Nigga, most phones come with fucking YouTube. So YouTube will forever be the number one app. It just is what it is. Um, shout out to, uh, you know, but I won't, I, I, before I end it, Caffeine did do some good things for Battle Rap. You know what I'm saying? They brought light, they brought exposure, they helped put on some big events. In the end, was it planned out the greatest? No. Uh, is one of the CEOs or one of the fucking they they try to say, they try to say no, it was his worker, but nigga that nigga was as, as as much of a partner as anybody else. One of the partners gets beat up at the first event. You know what I'm saying? It starts off on a rocky road. It does. You know what I'm saying? If I imagine if I go to a job, 
If I go to work on the first day of orientation and have a physical altercation with one of the owners of the company, how long do you think that relationship is going to last? It probably won't make it through the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But um, shout out to every single one of y'all. Uh, that's just my spill. The good, the bad, the ugly, the breakup of caffeine. Uh, maybe caffeine may return in some other form or fashion in the future. And if y'all do, y'all can all at me. I can make some shit change. I remember, uh, cause caffeine tried to sign me twice, right? The first time they around, I ain't like, I was like, nah, these niggas ain't offering enough money. Then the second time around, what they did offer just wasn't enough for what I could bring, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta know your value, know what you're worth, and know what you can bring to a platform. And if it doesn't quantify or add up, you get the fuck out the way, you know what I'm saying? And this is when the height of caffeine, where everybody had a show. Yeah, they tried. But I was like, yo, if y'all paying Surf this, or y'all paying this person that, and you wanna give me this? Nah, fuck y'all. So I got out the way, you know what I'm saying? But um, shout out to uh, all of the subscribers, that notification gang, you know what I'm saying? Uh, caffeine is the end of an era, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's been over for a little while though, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even notice. I, I, I literally deleted the app off my phone this morning. I didn't even know I, had to, I still had that shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, shout out to every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? I know some people wanted my spin and what I thought about the relationship with caffeine dissolving, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's just what it is. You had a partner named Drake who came in who was supposed to bring a lot of eyesight and visibility. His phone conversations get leaked. He's not fucking with it no more. He showed up to one event. He never came to another event. I never really seen him tweet about it. I never really seen him talk about it. I never really seen him promote it. I never really seen him do shit. Why? Because that first encounter when Mook leaked them fucking conversations kind of ended that. Boom. Then you got the Norb shit. Boom. Then you got too many events and niggas is choking, stumbling and all of that. Boom. You add that. Then you got Norbs actually winning his fucking lawsuit. Now it's just so much shit that kind of ended to the end of that relationship. But shout out to every single one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. It's your boy Vida fly him out this bitch. Gla, 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 gla. Hey, caffeine. If y'all spin the block and shit, y'all gonna holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I got this dude that I work with named Showtime SP. We put on a pretty amazing show, you know what I'm saying? I can do this shit on my own. I can do it with him. We do it together. We make it all work, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But um, shout out to everybody. Listen to my bars. Tell me what you thought about him. If I'm whack, just tell me I'm whack. If I'm nice, I'm nice. Whatever the case may be. But a lot of people was fucking with what I had to say. So I got a mixtape, a project coming soon. Mid-August, we're going to call it, When You Start Rapping Like That, Volume 1, Bitch Gang. Have, I'm nice, on a beat for, all right, let me hear him then. Like, you played on a beat for no reason. You don't got no bars. Right, I got you, man. What I said, uh, I said, let's do it like this. I said, check, uh, yo, uh, man made the slaughter. I'm hood, I still mix my pancakes with water. Okay. My fan played the corner with Gramps, eights, and quarters. Okay. People lied on my name, but they can't change the aura. Uh, uh, so who would make concern? I could bring him to you now based off the loop that I could earn. Been out the loop, but I return. Who can stop the purge? Got killers on head now. My people move without a word. Check. My favorite blick is a 44. My dog blue trout. The judge hit him with a 44. It's 20 for the split. I could get him for the 44. And when this thing done, I hit a player with 44. Wow. Divine measures. I grew up around side betters that won but couldn't stay in the game. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I blog, but I'm still on the block sturdy. And keep a lookout for the window because the cops dirty. Hmm. Battle who? I beat them around and drop 30. Man, I done bust more elbow moves than Brock Purdy. Ooh. Hustle for real. My people gunning to kill since I was young looking for something to steal. Right. Now the six cool black and the other one teal. I'm like Hove and 9 9 because I'm dumping the mill and I need more paper. Three, four acres. My favorite five words is we don't need no favors. Favors. Okay, that's fine. Yes. You know, I get, I get, I get it in every now and then. Every now and then. All every right. Now. Guess you.